Um, congratulations on Quibi, by the way. I was telling Mr. Jeffrey Katzenberg the other day that I was so happy when Apple sent me notification that I could download Quibi. I had been waiting for a long time. <laughs> oh, good. Well, I'm so glad. That's fantastic. Yeah, I am. I'm very happy with it. I'm I'm slowly getting addicted. So I'm very happy. So, um, so my first question, Miss Meg, is why Quibi? Yeah. Um, well, I, you know, it was so interesting. I've been friends with Jeffrey for many, many years. And uh, when I stepped down from HP, he said, um, you know, what are you doing? And I said, well, you know, I'm going to, um, I'm chairman of Teach for America. I'm going to travel and hang out with my husband some. And uh, he said, no, what are you doing tonight for dinner? And he came up, uh, flew up to the Bay Area to tell me about Quibi. And at the end of dinner, I said, this is a really good idea. And uh, so did some due diligence and, and then decided to join him in March of 2018. But the idea of Hollywood quality content made for your mobile phone in these quick bites for your in-between moments, I just thought was super compelling. And there's no question that there is a trend towards watching video on your mobile. It was people were watching six minutes a day in 2012 and 60 minutes a day in 2018, a 10 times increase in six years. So we think we're on to something, and we also knew that technology had always enabled storytellers in Hollywood to, to tell their stories in a new way. So we thought, gosh, this could be a big opportunity, and it'd be great fun to work together. That's right. So, um, so here's my, 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 my two main questions, though. Um, why is it just uh, on the phone, on phone only, and why are they only 10 minutes or below each show? Yeah, sure. Well, on the phone was an easy decision for us. Um, this is the first year that um, people are spending more time um, on their phones than they are watching any other size screen. That's been true for a long time for you know millennials, but now people spend more time on this device than, than any other. And they're watching a lot of video. And we also were looking to fill what we saw was a gap in the kind of entertainment on your phone. Listen, we love YouTube and Instagram stories and all of that, but it is not Hollywood quality content. It's not with you know, the best stars and the best writers and directors and all of that. And so we said, if we could bring that quality of content to the phone, we think it could expand even more the viewing of mobile on phone. And then we also loved the use case in between moments. Um, before the pandemic, think about it, on your commute, waiting in a line at a coffee shop for coffee, waiting for a meeting to begin at work, in between interviews, maybe in your case, you might watch a Quibi. And, uh, and so we thought these in-between moments was a really interesting use case. We also know that Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, all those big um, streaming services, only 10% of their viewing is actually on mobile. So we saw uh, a real market opening there. And then um, because we knew these were in-between moments, we knew it had to be less than 10 minutes. Um, and the average session length on a phone right now is six and a half minutes. So you think about how many times you pick up your phone every day. The average length of time is six and a half minutes. So that's how we came up with under 10 minutes. All right. That's, that's, th those are great answers. Now, um, how did your past roles both from eBay and Hewlett Packard inform your new role in Quibi? Yeah. Well, eBay was a startup as well. I joined when there were 30 employees and $4 million in revenue. This is a little earlier startup. I was employee number one. But it's the same. You're creating from scratch. You're building something from nothing. And, uh, and it's a unique challenge, much more unique challenge than, than working for a big company. And it's what I love to do. And so I learned a lot about that from um, eBay. And I learned it's the right people in the right job at the right time, getting the strategy right. And even for a little company, getting your execution capability, your ability to deliver honed early on. And um, from HP, Gosh, I learned the importance of culture. Um, you know, I used to think that culture at a company mattered. I now think it might be the only thing that matters. So we were very deliberate about setting the culture out early at Quibi. We hired to the values. Um, we, you know, coached people to the values. We try to live the values every day. And uh, one of them is be the audience. You know, this generation of millennials is the most diverse generation in American history. And so we wanted to mirror our audience with our employees. So we're 51% women, we're 47% people um, of color. And uh, it's, it's a quite, a, it's, it's fantastic because I think it gives us a better connection to our customer. I love that. Now, I am, I also am in, from the Filipino channel, the Philippines. Um, yep. Is Quibi going to be available internationally or is it just in North America right now? The main launch was North America. 
we do have 30 countries where the American version of Quibi is available. So if you live in the UK, you can download the American version in American English, you know, with all the American daily essentials that we have today. You can watch it oh. if you live in the UK. And so there's 30 countries. And I'll have to check on the Philippines. I think the Philippines might be one of those 30 countries. Yeah. Well, be, we're English Amer uh, speaking. <laughs> right, right. Right, 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 right. And you know, even, if, in, even if people are in Germany, um, they, uh, you know, either they're expats or they happen to speak English. Eventually, we will go with localized Quibi to every single market. But that will be probably, you know, after we understand exactly, you know, how, how we've done in, the, in North America. That is great to hear. Now, I'm going to end. Um, I'm going to name my favorite shows on Quibi so far. And in the spirit of Quibi's brevity, can you please give one word description of the shows? Like, for example, when the street lights go on. Scary. Game show. Hilarious. <laughs> Memory hole. Wow. Nightgown. Beautiful. Run this city. Corrupt. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Ms. Meg. That's great. I can't wait for 50 States of Fright and The Stranger, both coming this Monday, right? April 13th? Yes, this Monday. And uh, I think The Stranger could be one of our big hits. It's a really scary show with two brand new, a brand new actor and brand new actress, and they're brilliant. Oh, I can't wait for this. And Reno 911, by the way. <laughs> fun, fun. That's, uh, you know, sort of, you know, when we brought back Punk and we brought back Reno 911, they've been our, among our most popular and anticipated titles. Oh, well, congratulations again. Good luck, Miss Meg, and stay safe, okay? All right. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, thank you, you too. Bye-bye.